So hello everyone and welcome to Into the Breach, which is a very new game, just recently came out and uh, I haven't played this at all as of yet, as I understand this is the same publishers or the same developers that have made the FTL faster than light. That is also a game that I should actually play someday. I've never played it yet. But hey, I can play into the bridge before faster than light. So that's no problem. So it's basically a tactical game. I have seen one tutorial a little bit though from one other person's let's play. But otherwise, I decided to stop watching there after just looking at okay, this looks interesting and everything. And uh, yeah, thought that I could be doing a little let's play of this as well. And we'll see how this will exactly work out. As said, only seen a little bit of the tutorial, otherwise we'll be completely blind. So I have also the tutorial hints on. I don't think that there's anything specific that I need to change there otherwise. So let's just go in and start a new game. Humanity destroyed. Unstoppable. Mission failed. AI units open a bridge. Time to go back and try again. To save humanity apparently. So yeah, here's uh, apparently the units that we have at the moment. So this very first mission I've seen a little bit or the tutorial mission. Let's just... Uh, I'm not sure if I actually should be going. So, reduced enemy spawn rate score is reduced by 50%. Designed to provide an interesting challenge to new and experienced players. An increased spawn rate and more alpha vex score is increased by 50%. <sighs> I probably should start with the normal because I've heard nonetheless that this would be a difficult game. So normal is probably the wise choice when I haven't truly played this previously. Can I choose change time traveler? So yeah, and I can of course also rename. So you would be gain plus two bonus experience spare kill. But yeah, I can't even choose anyone else as of yet. So it's going to be you. And click to change starting mech for the time traveler. Okay, so which one would you be in? So how I understand this unit is that uh, from what I saw a little bit of the gameplay, you can be pushing them out of boundary so that they will die instantly. This is of course the close combat uh, mech. So in that sense, I guess the game plus 2 bonus experience per kill could be a good one for this specifically. Uh, then the tank shoots in a straight line and then the artillery bombards from further away. But I'm not sure exactly how uh, the range of it works. So yeah. Uh, powerful artillery strikes damages single tile and pushing adjacent tiles. So if there would be water in the tile that we would be pushing an enemy to, it would die instantly, for example. Is from what I saw from that tutorial. And then the... Uh, yeah, indeed this tank just shoots like that. Fires a powerful, powerful projectile that damages and pushes its target. And then just simply a bash, punch, <laughs> punch even. Uh, Buns and adjusted uh, damaging and uh, pushing it. So, mech colors. Okay, well, I guess I could be. Well, I can't really. <laughs> I can't change anything yet. Watery grave. Uh, drown three enemies in water in a single. But ah, okay, so there's even the achievements that we could be trying to get. Uh, note achievements earn new coins and unlock new mech squads. Uh, Ramin's Pilkin, an enemy five or more tiles away with a dash push. I don't think that we can even do such a thing yet, like a dash push. Complete the first corporate island would be also then the one of the future <sighs> future ones. I'm not sure if I can change any squads. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. So that's all a-okay. So I guess we should just go and start with the normal and uh, then maybe I will try again with the hard difficulty if we enjoy this enough, which is very well likely. So let's just go and start the game. And so we are launched down. No way in hell I'm letting the Vec take the islands this time. 
is it so? And of course, all of these areas are unavailable for the moment. So our starting position is here, Archive Incorporation. This museum island recreates, recreates old earth as it was before the oceans rose and nearly wiped out humanity. So environment temperate, CAO, Dewey Alms. So Threat Scanner sees those type of Vec creatures. Let's go. Archive Incorporation Head Office. If you are from the future, you'll find our island is even further back in time than you expected. If not for the Vec, I'd have loved to give you a tour of the old Earth relics. There is a combat simulation available to get new commanders up to speed with mechanic mechanized combat. Would you like to launch the simulation? This is, I assume, what I saw exactly. Most of it. So, start simulation nonetheless. Yeah, this is what I saw a little bit of. But let's go it through nonetheless. It, I think it's the wise way to do it. So, and I didn't see all of these or read them properly. This is the power crit. Whenever a building is damaged, it will get reduced. If it is reduced to zero, you lose. All right. So, save and protect the buildings. Enemy is attacking. Every enemy attacks is forewarned. Next turn, this one will attack the buildings in front of it like this. Hover, hover over an enemy to see details about its attack. This is your combat mech. It can punch any adjacent tile. Click on your mech, move it closer to the enemy and punch it. So, I need to just choose you. Come into here and uh, push this enemy. Yes. So now the attack will miss. It is quite tactical for sure. Pushing enemies, your mech punch pushed this unit. It will now attack a new location. Pushes can save buildings from enemy attacks or even make enemies attack each others. So when aiming a weapon or examining an enemy attack, I can show you exactly what will happen. Pushing an arrow on a tile means a unit on that tile will be pushed. Uh, damage, a number on tile means the unit on that tile will be damaged. And then of course a push and uh, damage will be shown as followed as input will be shown. And then we shall be just ending the turn. When all your mechs have used an action, there is nothing else left to do. Um, yeah. And then it just shooting. And another unit spawned. And now this is choosing to attack us. And this is, on the other hand, choosing to attack these buildings. Then the tank mech. It chooses a projectile that travels in a straight line until it hits another object. Yes, sir. We, so let's get into here and shoot at this one so that we get rid of it. And of course, these are very happy that the enemy threat is down. And push. Did you see that? We saved you. Yes, quite. But now there's even three enemies. Our lugs run out. What's that shadow? So, this guy is attacking over here and uh, all. Then the artillery came up and uh, joined us. Can shoot over obstacles like mountains, but cannot shoot at just the tiles. The artillery max weapon will only damage on units on the center tile, while units on the adjacent tiles are pushed. I'm not exactly sure how the push will affect that building, for example. Like, it doesn't say it damages it. Like in here, if we do it, we would nonetheless be pushing this to the water, and we would be pushing this guy into the water, so I think it's probably worth it. Yep, I definitely think that was worth it. And then we would just come into here, damage this, and it would be down. Drowning unit, this unit fell into the water, killing it instantly, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I know that there's an action, but... Nah. There wasn't really anything for it to do. Okay, this moved quite a far away. 
both of these moved all the way over here, which is interesting. And this is a deck in here, and this is a deck in over here. And of course, this one is a deck in here, and this is a deck in into this direction. I kind of wonder how far slash close I need to be to the certain units to be able to actually shoot them nicely. Hmm. In some sense, yeah, you couldn't even move all the way there, so that's of no use as an idea. Surely. One option is just that you shoot this, but you wouldn't kill it yet, so that's still something that... Like, sure, you would be able to push it nonetheless, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would push it, so that would save this building for now. We could try to maybe just shoot all the way into here with the artillery. But uh, there's not really anyone that we can exactly immediately get down. I'm not sure how close to this I need to be able to, or how far I need to be to be able to shoot. But I guess I would move here. At least this would already be missing anyways. But yeah, I can't exactly shoot diagonally. So, do you think that this would be the better option otherwise? But, of course, we don't exactly want to push this guy into here after all. Clearly enough. We can, of course, just push him a little bit. Mm. Not sure yet. I'm not sure if I can complete the missions, victory in fortress. Okay, kill uh, all enemies before they retreat. Okay, that's the bonus objective. Alrighty, interesting. So yeah, I'm not sure if I can... Okay, I can actually undo the move. So... That's kind of good, but I'm not sure if you can do anything way more useful. I guess you could at least maybe just go on and shoot this one. Hmm. Yeah, I guess maybe. Maybe that's better option nonetheless. And then I could try to see if I can try to do something nice with you. You can shoot right there, so at least you would have killed it. This isn't actually shooting anyone important after all. But we actually... This way would we would be in a situation where we would... Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> for sure. Because basically... Uh, I, I will lose one or the other right now. This place will get damaged or this place. Well, I guess... That will be the case now, because there's not really much that I can do about it anymore. At least I killed that unit, but that's not enough. Not good enough. Yep, one casualty. Building damage. This building tile was damaged, so your city power crit was reduced. Your primary goal is to prevent this. Yes. At least that did nothing, I guess. And yeah, now you're threatening that, and you're threatening tear, but truly, you at least aren't just going to be a goner. And uh, basically, I think you are going to be a goner too. You can just do that, and then you can shoot him down. So, at least no more buildings lost yet. I can't believe it, the refocus are dead and all that, but I did lose a building. Uh, congratulations on your first successful mission, Commander. I'm confident in your ability to save the planet after such extensive training. Yeah, real extensive. Well, hey, that's the... At least I went through that myself now too a little bit. The tutorial. So, damage power crit. The power crit connects every corporate island. Any damage it takes in missions will persist. Ah, oh, interesting. The WEC caused damage before you arrived, but there will be opportunities to restore it. Alright, interesting. So yeah, we have to be real careful and try to protect this as much as possible, for sure. So, our first mission. Mission reward. Every mission has different potential rewards for completing bonus objective. You won't be able to do every mission on the island, so choose carefully. Alright, interesting. So power core is used to upgrade your mechs. But yeah, uh, this is something that I already is completely blind. It was just a tutorial mission that I had seen. Nothing more, nothing less. Power core is used to upgrade your mechs. 
Great power restores your power crit. If your power crit rate is zero, you lose. Corp reputation used to purchase items when the island is secure. Warning missions with more potential rewards will have additional dangers. Okay, interesting. So this would just give um, one. This would give both of these. Warning air support. You mean that they have air support? Relic preservers. Bonus objective block vex spawning three times. And protect the coal plant. And here is something like a defense shield active. Protect the emergency batteries. I guess I will just go on and try the one with the two and something like air support. We'll see what that means. Uh, this region has an old airfield that can provide air support. Ah, right. We are new at actually flying these planes, but let's hope for the best. So that's what it means. Vector detected. All right, well, let's see how this works. So environmental effects. This mission has a special effect that will happen every turn. Mouse over the environment icon to get more information. Uh, bones will be dropped on the mark spaces, killing any unit. Hmm. So I guess that works a little bit same way that if we push someone into the spot where the air support would be coming, then we would be able to probably just insta-kill the unit. Well, let's put you into there. I guess I will put you as a tank over here. And the artillery I will just drop down. I don't know what it does if I drop it to the forest. If damage lights on fire. I don't know what it means. But I guess like that you may change your placements before confirming. I guess this can be maybe okay. I'm not sure though. <laughs> maybe I should just put you into there at the same line. The Vec are going to stop and everything. So okay, this area is going to have the artillery fire. Which is good to know. And warning, emerging enemies. Ah, an enemy unit will emerge here next turn. You can temporarily block enemies from spawning, but it will damage the blocking unit. Ah, okay. Interesting. You can temporarily block enemies from spawning, but it will damage the blocking unit. Okay. Four turns remaining. Hmm. I kind of feel that I would have liked to be right here. But uh, of course can't really be helped. Of course this is going to just die in this artillery strike already. So in that sense that is not too big of an issue. We could probably just try to go into here. Push this one a tile into this direction. And maybe the artillery needs to take a shot into that guy. Possibly. I wonder if it will also block if the Vec is in that spot. Hmm. But of course then it would uh, strike into this power plant, which is going to be a problem. Well, let's just try to be going ahead with this. Okay, you just killed it automatically, so that is nice. Of course. Hmm. I can basically push it any way I wish. Basically. Let's see. So, yeah. At the moment I would just be able to strike in this sort of a angle. Yeah, that forest would be caught in fire, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's just see about you first, I guess. Nonetheless. Hmm. Yeah, you can't do anything over there. How much does this usually take damage? One only. So we're not gonna be killing it with just two shots. That's an unfortunate fact. I can of course just concentrate in pushing that. One tile into here, which would not kill it. Which is bad. But at least it would push it away from actually shooting here. Which is possibly okay. But yeah, it didn't do any damage, of course. 
Uh, I would have been able to kill it. Like, it said that it would do one damage, but it does do two. Like, if you see from here. But that was something that I wasn't sure of. If I could uh, go back in time to start off the current turn. Available after taking at least one action. You can only do this one spare battle. Is that truly really worth it here? On the other hand, getting a good start would be important, I think. So maybe I should... Sure. Let's just do it. Let's just try to do that then. But actually, it doesn't help. Why did I do that? Well, actually, if I go all the way into here, then it could help, couldn't it? Like, if I go all the way here and... But now it does only one point damage? Why? I am wondering, why does it actually do only one? Now, when it before didn't do just one. What is the reason for this? Hmm. Well, I guess I will just go the same way then. That I already did. Even though <laughs> it seems quite silly to do it like this now then. Because now it does too. Oh yeah, because I would be pushing him into the hill. That's why. That's why it does too. No, well, doesn't really help me here. I think I'll just go into here, I guess, with this guy. Even though it kind of wastes. It's a little bit of a waste, but... I guess that's at least okay-ish for now. Actually, could I maybe do it so that I would go into here? So that we are actually closer to this area. So we may be able to block some of them from emerging and so on in the future. Maybe. And then just kill that guy. I guess that's okay-ish. Not really care eight. Two of them are alive. But of course that one did die. But burning forest. The forest on the style looks took damage. Turning it into fire. If a unit stands on fire it will ignite and take damage every turn. Alright. Well unless that didn't do anything. But it's very much alive. And two more spawned. Threatened. Threatened into... Okay, and all of these bots would be having some units spawning in. So basically, nonetheless, you aren't doing anything against me, really. You are, okay, of course, attacking here, on the other hand, if I allow you to do so. Of course, I won't. Because it would also deal damage to me, and it would... Sure, it would kill this, but... I don't think that that's the best way to deal with that situation, specifically when this style... Yeah, I think... Hmm... It's kind of a shame... To think of doing the way I may be thinking of doing it, but... I don't know... Like, I'm thinking that on the other hand, I guess you only will do one point of damage to this guy if you are the only one that is able to attack, so it's not necessarily that big of a deal. However... Hmm... I would like to block one of these guys from spawning too. Then I'm just trying to think, well, I could kill this, the, the, the idea that I had is that if I move this guy away, like into here, even if we wouldn't use him to actually kill anyone, he unfortunately can't really reach these spots, then we could just push with this guy into here. So yeah, that could be one option to kill this unit, and it would not be able to do anything otherwise important. But then we would still have these two uni units. And both of them are already attacking towards our tank, which is a problem. Like, uh, even if we otherwise would be okay in this situation and all that. We would need to do something about this then nonetheless with these two other units. And this guy can, of course, for example, change position of this unit or this unit into somewhere else. Like, we maybe could just change this guy from shoot it here. 
so that it would be moved into this direction. And then it would actually be shooting this guy. And uh, at least that would be saving us a little bit of damage. Not quite as much as I would like, but a little bit. It has three hit points. Yeah, all of these do have three hit points. I guess I will try to go with that and see how badly the tank will be doing at that point. I guess it will do a little bit too badly, to be honest. At least that would be now shooting its friend, which at least would be something. It's unfortunate that you are not quicker. Because otherwise I would love to just go and move this guy. And then bring this into here. But I don't think you have the movement capability of doing that anyways. It's one, two, three. One, two, three. So you could not get there. So I guess the best I can do with you is to just come here and stop you at least from doing damage or stopping one unit from spawning so the tank would be still getting damage but at least it would be only one enemy however this of course will f ignite the forest which will mean probably another point of damage but i guess that's the risk that i would be taking so i guess we'll see how that will work out at least that unit would be dead Yep, damage mech. Your mech will automatically repair all damage after battle, if good. That's at least good. If a mech is reduced to zero health, the pilot dies and the mech is disabled for the rest of that battle. This mech is on fire. It will take one damage every turn. Mechs can repair status effects, but cannot attack the same turn that they repair. Okay, that's bad. At least you shot that guy. At least you blocked one enemy. Ah, this actually also has... It's kind of good that this area is the one that... Ooh, I like that. I like the fact that you all come into here. I like that. I'm more than happy to allow you all to come into that spot. I think that you gotta just, like, leave, though. <laughs> and try to maybe repair yourself. Yeah, that's the repair ability. I would love to be able to push you into there, too. But that's uh, not gonna happen. Is it? So yeah, just start repairing yourself. Repairs complete, commander. Then you, my friend. Um, webbed mech. Oh god, that's not good though. So that's what I did. Mouse over the status icons on the bottom left to investigate what that means. Uh, so webbed. Bottom left. In here, I guess, yeah. A unit swept by the way cannot move, but they can still attack. That's really not good, because you're in a bad place. So I guess you will just try to repair yourself, and hopefully you will not die when the freaking airstrike will come. But if there's nothing else I can do, then yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Because I can't do really anything about it, can I? There's not a, nothing I can do, truly. Like, I can't push myself even away from there. Like, I can shoot here and then I would push myself one tile. Unless that would somehow fix us not being webbed. I don't know. Maybe. I will try. Maybe you're not webbed anymore. Yes, you can move. Lovely. Then you can actually go and uh, evacuate the area, so to speak. So you will not do anything bad so to speak and now you can just repair because why not you don't need to attack any of this anyways for the moment and turn nice nice artillery nice nice even if we weren't able to stop that from spawning but there wasn't much we were able to do about that ah you are webbed now quite unfortunate on the other hand, you can shoot this and it will automatically just be over there, which is not too bad. And at least you are on burning. Not sure how exactly it will go on and work. As soon as you will even shoot into there, then if you just go on and uh, push this unit away, I think that is your responsibility. No one else can get into here, after all. Can you shoot from that? Yeah, you can, but you can't shoot in a way that you would 
I would like you to be able to shoot. Just go into there then. Rather that you shoot him one tile into that direction, please. That's a lot nicer idea. Uh, it's not that big of a deal if I take a little bit of damage. Or if our mech takes a little bit of damage. But of course we can kill this just straight away. So sure, you just do that. Pushing into objects. Pushing units into things deal additional one damage to both. In this case, the extra damage killed the unit. Which is very much indeed nice. And then you just need to shoot this guy once. So that he is moved into the dangerous location. And indeed, just moving that guy one tile or moving myself will stop the web. So lovely. That works pretty nicely then. Nice, nice. And you're just shooting the mountain. So victory is ours. The Riptors won and a perfect victory. Yay, we did this at least. Our nature preserves on the surface were destroyed during the fighting. There's little left of the region. At least the Vec are gone now. So, yeah. Otherwise, at least the power plant is all good. Yeah, I did stop, but not do the block vex spawning three times. Only once, I guess, so of course I did fail in that, but at least all the civilians were protected and all that, so... <sighs> Can't really do too much more about that, but that region is secure. 